Hello. This video is on solving differential equations by separation of variables, and we're going to use E and LN. So if you remember, or if you can see the trend of these videos, all I'm doing is stuff that you've learned before, derivatives, antiderivatives, this one's solving differential equations. Um, so it's all review, except for now we're adding in some E and some LN. In case you forgot, the steps are there for you in your notes, how to solve it. Again, for most of you, some of you learn better by just me solving it and you see as I go along what I'm doing. So again, here's a differential equation. Remember, you know it's a differential equation because I have dy dx. And they gave me an initial condition, which I highlighted here, f of 2 um, equals 0. In case you forgot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the variables, meaning I'm going to put dy on one side and I'm going to put uh, x to the third on the other side. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm going to put dy is on one side, x is on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply, oops, I'm going to multiply both sides by dx. So this becomes dy equals 2y minus 1 over x to the third dx, which is what I want. You want dy and dx on the top. And I'm going to divide both sides by 2y minus 1. So now this is where I'm at. 1 over 2y minus 1 dy equals 1 over x to the third dx. Okay. In case you forgot, what I do now is I'm going to take the antiderivative of both sides because I want to get rid of dy and dx. So I'm going to put an integration sign on both sides, like so. The right side is going to be the easier one. This means the exact same thing as x to negative 3. And the antiderivative of x to negative 3 is I raise it by 1, which makes it x to negative 2. And I divide by that number. So this becomes x um, 1 over negative 2, x to negative 2 plus c. On the left side is not as easy because I can't take the antiderivative of 2y minus 1. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to call um, 2y minus 1 u and use u substitution. So u is 2y minus 1, du is 2 dy. In this particular problem I don't have a 2 dy, I have a 1 dy, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2. This becomes half du equals dy. So after doing my substitution, um, my, uh, my denominator now just becomes u, and this dy just becomes half du. I could factor out that half, which you've seen before. And now I just have the antiderivative of one, 1 over u. And the antiderivative of 1 over u is ln absolute value u, like so. And I'll plug the, um, plug the y back into the equation. So my answer, oh sorry, plus c, my answer is half ln absolute value um, 2y minus 1 plus c. And then I'm going to put the right side of what I put, negative half x to negative 2 plus c. <clears throat> in case you forgot, in these problems, what I do next is I move the c's to one side. Again, maybe be confused, like if I subtract c from one side, doesn't that cancel on both sides? They're just two different constants. So one can be 3 and one can be 5. They're just two different numbers. So I'm just going to I'm gonna erase this, but basically I'm going to move all the c's over onto one side. So this is technically my answer. But the problem is, is that I have a c. And what we did in these problems is solve for c. So if you look at my original uh, initial condition, it says f of 2 equals 0. In the case you forgot which means which, this means like x and this means y. So my initial condition, it says make x 2 and make y 0. Okay, so I go back to my equation, make x 2 and make y 0. If I make y 0, this becomes half ln of absolute value of negative 1. If this one becomes 2, I get negative half. Um, 1 over 4 plus c. So again, my x, if I go back, my x is 2. If I look at this, if I plug in 2, 2 to the negative 2 is 1 over 2 squared. That's how I get 1 fourth. Here on the left, it says ln of negative 1. Some of you may be confused about this stuff because you, you're not very sure about ln and e. You can put it into a calculator if you want. Um, but the ln of 1, or in this case, because I have an absolute value, the ln of 1, actually turns out to be 0. So this whole left side turns into 0. Here, this becomes negative 1 eighth plus c. And then if I add 1 eighth to both sides, I get 1 eighth equals c. And that's how you solve differential equations. And then again, for the, app, for the AP test, all you do is put this back here. But for my class, all you need to do is solve for c. 
So that's how you do differential equations. You may have forgotten it. You separate x's and y's, take the antiderivative of both sides, solve for c. And the last example I'm going to give you, very similar, but in this case we're going to do it with ease. Here is f of negative 2 and it's equal to 1. That's my initial condition. Here's my differential equation. I know it's a differential equation because I have dy over dx. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the variables. So I'm going to multiply both sides by e to the 4y. Oops. So if I multiply both sides by e to the 4y, it becomes on the top and the left side. And on the right side, it becomes x plus 2 dx. Again, just multiplying so I have x's and y's on different sides. Then I apply the antiderivative to both sides. The left side, in this case, is easier again. Um, if I take the antiderivative antiderivative of x, I add 1, this becomes x squared, and divide by 2, so this becomes half x squared. And the antiderivative of 2 is 2x, and then plus c. On the left side, I have e to the 4y. Okay? In this particular case, I can't take the antiderivative because I have something inside of something. So I'm going to do another u substitution. I'll make u 4y, which makes du 4dy which makes, again, in my problem I only have a dy, which means I'll divide both sides by 4, I get a 1 fourth du equals dy. Now let's do my u substitution. This, instead of e to the 4y, now becomes e to the u. This now becomes 1 fourth du. I could factor out 1 fourth, and I'm going to do two steps in the same um, line, because I think you understand this. I'll factor out a 1 fourth, and the antiderivative of e to the u is e to the u. And that becomes a plus c. So I've successfully taken the antiderivative of both sides. Again, I have a c on both sides. I'm just going to combine it onto one side. I'm not going to subtract it. I'm not going to cancel anything out. I'm just going to say I'm moving all the c's to the right side. Now we solve. Oh, and also in this case, I don't have a u here, but there was no u in the original problem. u is actually supposed to be 4y. So I'm going to erase this u and make this 4y. All right. Now what do you do? You look at your initial condition x is negative 2, y is 1. So x is negative 2, y is 1. If y is 1, this becomes e to the 4, like so. And then x, if you remember, is negative 2, so I'm going to have to plug in negative 2 into two places. Negative 2 squared is 4, and 4 times half is 2, like so. And then 2 times negative 2 becomes minus 4 plus c. This becomes 1 fourth e to the fourth equals negative 2 plus c. And again, I want to get c by itself, or some of you want to get an answer for 1 fourth e to the fourth. You could just leave it like that. So my answer is going to be 1 fourth e to the fourth plus 2 equals c. So hopefully you understand how to solve differential equations because we talked about before. All we do is now add ln and e to that mix so that you know what to do in case you see a problem like that on the AP test. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask it, and I'll see you all later.